Greetings, salutations, respect, and love. I am Scott, and you, my dear friends, have wandered on to the number one prog rock channel on YouTube. It's the Prog Corner, and uh, according to whom, you might ask? According to me, that's who. Anyway, guys, I got a good one for you today. I'm closing out my series on worst number one songs of all time. Yeah, I was going to dip my toe into the 2010s, but man, oh man, uh, have you had a look at that list of songs? It's just absolutely terrible. About half of them I didn't even know, so it would have forced me to listen to dozens of terrible pop songs, and I just didn't feel like it, man. So we're doing the 60s today, and uh, yeah, this is just outstanding, man. There's so many great number one tracks in the 60s, but there were some real clunkers too, and uh, I'm doing it year by year, so I'm doing the 10 worst, so I'm doing the worst from each year, and if I'm going to be 100% honest, if I did the 10 worst number one songs of the 60s, they'd all be from like 1960 or 1961, because it got better and better and better as uh, rock and roll started to, you know, dig its claws into the American consciousness and whatnot, but the decade began... Uh, with El Paso by Marty Robbins being at the top of the chart January 1st, 1960. And the decade ended uh, with Diana Ross and the Supremes with Someday We'll Be Together. In all, there were 223 number one songs in the 60s. And here are the 10 worst, boys and girls. I'm starting at 1960. And uh, there were a couple of notable number one songs in 1960. Kathy's Clown by the Everly Brothers, uh, The Twist by Chubby Checker, a couple number ones by Elvis, uh, It's Now or Never and Are You Lonesome Tonight, but I'm going with as my worst song of 1960, I'm going with that horrible thing called Itsy Beatsy, Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. What a terrible song. Performed by Brian Hyland. Written by Paul Vance and Lee Pockris. Apparently those two guys have made millions of dollars over the decades on that song. One of them referred to it as a money-making machine. And I guess so. It was 1960. I guess bikinis were like kind of a new thing. An exciting thing. What an awful song. Just terrible. Don't ever want to hear it ever again. At number... At number nine, <laughs> whatever, uh, it's 1961. Uh, yeah, we had some good songs in 1961 that hit uh, the number one slot. You had Runaway by Del Shannon, uh, Traveling Man by Ricky Nelson, uh, Run Around Sue by Dion, uh, Hit the Road Jack by Ray Charles, The Lion Sleeps Tonight by The Tokens, but by far the worst number one song in 1961 was this horrible thing called Mother-in-Law by Ernie K. Doe. It was written by Alan Toussaint. What a horrible song filled with misogyny, filled with the hatred and vitriol against your wife's mom. That's not cool, brother. Your wife's mom is somebody you need to cherish, not, uh, not throw all your hatred towards. What an awful song, just terrible. Now we go on to 1962, the year of my birth. Yes, absolutely, and there were some good tracks on here. But uh, none of them were on my birthday. I had a horrible song uh, on my birthday. But there were some good tracks in 62. The Duke of Earl, loved that song. Uh, Breaking Up is Hard to Do by Neil Sedaka. Uh, the Locomotion by Lil Eva. Boy, both of those had uh, new life with the uh, reissues with new singers. Sherry by The Four Seasons. Uh, Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt kickers and uh matt bellamy from muse his dad had a number one hit song with a band called uh, the tornadoes and the song was telstar i didn't get that my my worst song from 1962 is the song that was number one on my birthday i'm salty about it i deserved a better song than sheila by tommy Rowe. now tommy Rowe had a couple songs i really liked later on like sweet pea and dizzy Sheila's terrible. I deserved a better number one song. I absolutely did. Let's move on to 1963, shall we? A year loaded with some real garbage, man. Uh, things were still not great on the pop charts. You had uh, some good things like uh, Walk Like a Man by the Four Seasons. That's a good song. He's So Fine by the Chiffons, even though it's got nothing to do with George Harrison. It's My Party by Leslie Gore. Uh, Sukiyaki by Kiyo Sakamoto. My Boyfriend's Back by the Angels. That almost sounds like a 50s song, right? Uh, Sugar Shack by Jimmy Gilmer and the Fireballs was the number one song, the biggest hit of 1963. 
But for the worst song of the year, man, there can be none other than Dominique by the singing nun, some Belgian nun uh, by the name of Jean Paul Marie Deckers. Uh, this horrible thing was actually number one for like all of December. The album even hit number one. It's just, just terrible, man. Some French song being sung by a nun, it's awful. Now we move on to 1964, and things were starting to get good, man. 1964 is kind of where things started clicking, and you had a little band from Liverpool, had six number one hits in 64. I Want to Hold Your Hand was the first of them, then She Loves You, Can't Buy Me Love, Love Me Do, Hard Day's Night, I Feel Fine, all hit number one in 64, but there were some other really, really cool songs. Hit number one in 1964, Hello, Dolly. Love it, Louis Armstrong. I get around. Uh, where did our love go? The House of the Rising Sun. Oh, pretty woman. Yeah, I had a little bit of Roy in there. Leader of the pack, another song that sounds like it was from the 50s, showing up in the 60s. But the worst song, talking about old timey, the worst song from 1964 was Bobby Vinton's There. I've said it again, a song from 1945, which was a smash hit for the Vaughn Monroe Orchestra. Yeah, come on, man. We don't need a song from the 40s coming back in the 60s. Just terrible. Bobby Vinton had a couple good songs, but that was not one of them. Let's move along, shall we? 1965. Oh, the Beatles are still riding high with the number one hits like Eight Days a Week, Ticket to Ride, Help, and Yesterday. But 65 saw some other really, really great songs. I love me some Petula Clark, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Downtown, uh, My Girl by The Temptations, Stop in the Name of Love, Help Me Rhonda, Hey Mr. Tambourine Man, Satisfaction. I got you, babe. Hang on, Sloopy. Get off of my cloud. The birds would turn, turn, turn. Wow. Those all hit number one. But the worst song, actually, there weren't a lot of horrible songs on the chart that year, uh, at least the ones that hit number one. But I'm going with Gary Lewis and the Playboys and this diamond ring. It just doesn't sound like it belongs in 1965. It sounds like it's straight out of 1955. The song was written by Al Cooper, Bob Brass, and Erwin Levine. Levine, whatever, terrible. It's not terrible. I just don't like it that much. Here we go, though. 1966, man. Things were starting to get amazing on the charts. You had such greatness as uh, The Sound of Silence. We can work it out. Uh, Lou Christie with Lightning Strikes. These boots were made for walking. And uh, Strangers in the Night. So both Frank and Nancy had a number one hit in 1966. They had a number one hit song together the following year that we'll be talking about a little bit. Monday, Monday hit number one. Painted Black. Paperback Writer. Uh, Wild Thing was 1966. Uh, Cherish. I love that song. Uh, Petula Clark, My Love. Oh, man, My Love. I love that song. It's so great. One of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, Good Vibrations, 96 Tears, Last Train to Clarksville, I'm a Believer, and uh, Winchester Cathedral, which I guess has Rick Wakeman on keyboards back there. But the worst song from 1966 that hit number one is The Ballad of the Green Berets by Staff Sergeant Barry Sadler. Song written uh, by Robin Moore. And this song's just terrible, glorifying war, trying to make it sound all right. I guess it was in honor of the first uh, native Hawaiian who died in combat in Vietnam, which is nice and all, but let's not glorify war in any way, shape, or form. Let's not have any number one hit songs about war. Thank you very much, 1967. Honestly, I think I like every song that hit number one in 1967. Every single one of them is kind of cool. Uh, uh, 1969 was the same way where I actually liked every song that hit number one. So this is going to be my least favorite of the number ones. And uh, wow, listen to these songs that hit number one in 67. And tell me you don't want a time machine, man. Ruby Tuesday, Penny Lane, Happy Together, Groovin', Respect, Windy, uh, Light My Fire, All You Need Is Love, The Letter, To Sir With Love, Incense and Peppermints, Daydream Believer, Hello Goodbye, All Great, but also hit number one that year was uh, Frank and Nancy Sinatra with Something Stupid. It's not a terrible song, but clearly the worst of the number one songs from 1967, and uh, that is, uh, you know, 
I'm not slagging on Frank and Nancy at all. Well, yeah, I am. 1968, not quite as good as 1967, but yeah, listen to some of these songs that hit number one, man. Judy in Disguise, oh yeah. Green Tambourine, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Mrs. Robinson, hello, I love you, won't you tell me your name? Hey Jude, I heard it through the grapevine, yeah. Marvin Gaye's version, not the crappy CCR version. Uh, Harper Valley PTA almost topped the list here. I almost went that way, but my number one worst song from 1968 is Bobby Goldsboro and Honey. Uh, what a bad song. Written by Bobby Russell. Dudu later on went ahead and married Vicki Lawrence. But uh, you talk about the height of schmaltz. Just terrible. And I guess he, his girlfriend died in a car accident. So he's going to sing a song about it. Whatever. It's terrible. And finally, we're going to 1969. And what a great year for the charts this was. Honestly, I think I like every single number one song from 1969. This was actually really hard to pick the worst of them because listen to some of these songs, man. This, these are, this is every song that hit number one in 1969. Crimson and Clover, Everyday People, Dizzy, love it, Aquarius, Get Back in the Year 2525, Honky Tonk Woman, Sugar Sugar, Suspicious Minds, Wedding Bell Blues, I love that song, uh, Come Together, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye, Leaving on a Jet Plane, and uh, Someday We'll Be Together by Diana Ross and the Supremes, my dog's going crazy, calm down Oliver, I'm doing a video in here buddy. <laughs> Calm down. It's all good. Anyway, yeah, so those were all the number one hits from 1969, except for one, the one that I'm picking as my least favorite. And it's The Temptations with I Can't Get Next to You. They were trying their hand at like some psychedelic soul at this point, And uh, it's an okay song, but I don't love it. It was the worst uh, number one song of 1969 by far. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up the... Uh, the n worst number one song series. Like I said, I don't think I can handle the 2010s. Maybe I'll change my mind later on, but uh, I wanted to kind of do the 60s and call it a day because I got so many of these series, like, you know, loose ends just hanging around trying to take care of it. Anyway, going to give you guys a quick heads up because I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to review this thing, but it's the brand new album from a band called Troika. Oh man, highly recommend this thing. The album is called Stroba Morka. They're Norwegian. They sing in Norwegian. Uh, it's just a fantastic album. Four songs, kind of progressive pop. And you've got the great Frederick Meki Widero from Seven and Pale playing guitar on here. Fantastic album. Maybe I'll get around to reviewing it. Maybe I won't. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a good uh, Labor Day weekend if you're here in the U.S. Otherwise, uh, that explains why there was no video yesterday. Anyway, peace in the Middle East. Free Tibet, uh, free the Ukraine, free Willie, free everybody, and God save King Charles, save King Chucky the Third. That boy needs your saving. That son of a gun could use his saving right now. So bring him to America. Bring that boy to America. Oh yeah, make him swim. Oh yeah, he can swim, and if he gets tired, give him a rowboat. He can row all the way to America. That's right, where we got them good doctors. We can do spells and incantations. Lay some hands on that boy. He's going to be feeling just fine. Then we'll do some drinking of some poison. That ain't going to work. You know what's going to work? Hey, Billy Bob, bust out them snakes, and then we're going to dance with snakes. Oh, no, we're dancing with them snakes, but they're not going to get us. Oh, no, because I got the spirit of the Lord in me, and these snakes are going to... Just go about their way, and King Chucky's going to be just fine. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.